Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. Today I'm going to show you how to ship a hockey stick the quick and easy way. All right, first off, what supplies are you going to need today? Well, we're going to use a few different things. We're going to need a bunch of tape. We're going to need a little tape gun or some sort of tape. We're going to need some cardboard. This one I kind of pre-cut, but we'll have to do a little tr trimming as well. And then you're going to need some bubble wrap. All right, like I said, this is going to be relatively quick and easy. So we're going to wrap bubble wrap from where the blade starts all the way down to the end of the stick. So I'm gonna do a little fast forward mode here, show you how I do this. We're gonna tape it up and we're gonna come back with it all done. All right, you can see, all I did was I took a strip of bubble wrap, did it all the way around this end. Now I still got more to go, but we're just gonna show you this one part here and then I'll do the rest and then come back. So uh, this is where you're gonna use your tape. Now, all right, we're gonna take the tape gun, we're gonna tape around a few times. Okay, I got the first half of the stick done. You can see all I did was take the bubble wrap, put it down this far. I taped all the way around so there's no loose spots on here, but I gotta do the next little section as well. So I'll do this part off camera and then come back and show you how we're gonna do the blade part. All right, we skipped in the future. I've got the main part of the stick all done. Now we just gotta worry about the blade part of the stick. And this is the only part that's gonna take a little bit of extra work. Like I said, I cut some cardboard that should be sized properly. Uh, I have my tape. You don't need any additional bubble wrap for here. You can, but you don't really need to. Uh, one thing I will suggest, if you're shipping an autographed hockey stick, maybe it's autographed here on the blade, you might want to take like a little poly bag of some sort put over there just to protect it from moisture. Might get wet and rain or snow or anything like that. So that is an option if you need it. Otherwise, we're going to take this piece of cardboard here and we're just going to make a little tent like this over this part of the blade. Now I will cut it down a little bit, just to cut a little bit of the extra cardboard off of here. Use some tape, tape around this, and I'm gonna come back again. You can see here, I got the basic cut out for the blade part of the stick. I got it taped up all around. And I did use some extra strong tape on here. It's this filament tape. You can buy this stuff at Walmart for like $5 roll. You don't necessarily need it, but I like it because it's super heavy duty, super strong, sticks really good. Make sure that this tape isn't gonna come off here. I am gonna put some more tape around here with just the standard tape. Make sure that this part is not gonna come off during shipping. All right, so that part's in, you can see I got this on here nice and secure. Now, why am I putting cardboard on here? Well, this gives me a nice spot where I can put the shipping label as well. If you just have the stick, you don't have a great spot for the shipping label. So let me kind of recap what I've done so far. We've got here, we've got bubble wrap all the way down the stick. And then we got this cardboard little piece down here at the end. Now we got to ship it. Now how to ship this the best way is either going to be through the post office or UPS. Maybe you use FedEx in your area too, but I'm going to show you some different costs for this particular stick. When you're shipping a hockey stick, it isn't too heavy. This stick weighs under two pounds, even as it is, but we got to get dimensions for it as well. So this is obviously a pretty long item. So you might need a measuring tape if you're not taking this directly to the post office to measure the exact length. This stick is 63 inches long. And we're gonna measure our longest other dimension right here, which is 13 inches by about two inches thick. So we got 63 by 13 by two. I live in Arizona. This stick is being shipped back to Maryland. Just to give you a reference, the cost that you're gonna pay for shipping has several different variables. One can be if you're buying your shipping off of eBay or a site like Pirate Ship where they give you discounted shipping. If you take this directly to the post office or UPS, you will be charged more. This one here to go UPS ground, $21.38 to send this one. If I were using the post office, $16.88. So in this case, I will definitely use the post office, much cheaper, about $17. All right, put your shipping label here on this. You're ready to go drop it off at the post office.